Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now this arcade style beat em up has been a fantastic game to play. It's been on the Game Pass for a while. I've only managed to play a little bit of it, but I finally sat down and gave it a go on this system and my god, it's just one of those games where it is so much fun to play. Aesthetically speaking, the art style is absolutely fantastic. The gameplay is so enjoyable and it's one of those games that is perfect for an APU system because it runs on pretty much anything. I think a lot of the times people just hyper focus on just looking at these big 3D games that a lot of the times might not give you the best performance that you would want to see. Meanwhile, you have these types of very light games that are just so much fun to play that people kind of just don't pay attention to. There are so many of these 2D low budget games that just perform so perfectly on APU systems that you pretty much have endless amounts of content to choose from. If you're into side scroll scrolling beat em ups like this, this is just one of those games that's super fantastic to play. And you can play it with a lot of friends. I think it's up to like eight player co-op or something like that. It can get ridiculous with the amount of people you can have on here. And it's because the whole philosophy around a game like this is just pure fun. And it really reminds me of an era of gaming where really the main focus was just making an experience that was enjoyable to play and less about just milking people out of every single dollar that they have. You can see here that this is running perfectly on the system. We're at the stock TDP and we're only using five watts, which means that it is also a game that you can actually play on this system while you're on battery. Because a lot of laptops that actually have these APUs really end up limiting the amount of power you can use while you're not plugged into the wall. Can't really raise the TDP up to 25 watts while on battery and expect it to last you more than just an hour. While something like this, just sipping 5 watts to play a full game, you could actually play this on battery. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing it for extensive amounts of time, but you can do it. It's one of those things where if you're in school or something like that and you have some downtime, it's so easy to boot this up. And especially if you and your friends just have controllers, you can all just start playing this really easily. You're not going to have to worry about it just murdering your battery and you end up having a pretty much perfect experience. In general, I have just been having a lot of fun playing through this game. And it's funny to think that on a system with a 3070 Ti, I'm choosing to play this over something like Cyberpunk. It's not to say that Cyberpunk is a bad game or anything like that. It's just one of those things where the pure joy that you get out of booting into this game and playing through and enjoying the aesthetic, enjoying the music, enjoying the pure gameplay of it. It's just one of those things where there's just so much fun to be had here and it cuts out a lot of the extra fluff that you have in modern games nowadays where i think that a lot of games have gotten so big that you end up in a weird position where you kind of just end up sitting looking at cutscenes and things like that for an hour before you actually get into any meaningful gameplay and when you're limited on time you kind of just want to boot into something where you can actually fully play it and have a great time so i definitely recommend that you give this a go if you're on a system with an apu and maybe think about just trying out some indie games especially if you're someone that has just spent a lot of time gaming because i mean I, I've gamed now for a long time. It's been a huge part of my life. And sometimes I feel like I am burnt out, that I am burnt out on just gaming in general. You, know, you do it pretty much every day for like two decades and you're going to feel not the same enthusiasm for video games as you did back then. You know, I've had moments where I kind of just felt like, do I even really like video games anymore? But then you play games like this, you play indie games, you play these smaller titles, games like this, games like Hades, games that are just made with pure passion and you kind of just start to realize that you just needed something different there's only so many times you can play a first person shooter there's only so many times you can play these live game service games where the entire idea is to grind out a battle pass there's only so much of that you can handle before you kind of just get burnt out you boot into something like this and you you get that enthusiasm again get that pure enjoyment of what video games really are meant to be kind of removes the whole aspect of modern video games becoming a chore now this is currently available on Game Pass. If you don't want to spend any money on it, you can just boot into the Game Pass and have a great time with this. So I definitely recommend you give that a go. But anyways, I hope you found this quick look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U to be useful, entertaining, or interesting. Maybe it had you thinking about how you feel about video games and what you find ent entertaining or not. Maybe I convinced you to give it a go or try out just another type of indie game out there. But if you did, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.